what's up guys welcome back to the channel so today I got some exciting stuff that I want to talk to you about uh, so Sam from bear motion sent me over a whole bunch of straps all right so I just want to show you guys some um, some things all right so this is a pretty cool setup right here so uh, normally you would see on the rollback I normally have the eight point tie down and I have it with the chain clusters okay um, so what I mean is that normally on the setup that I used to use it's set up with chains over here instead of a cluster all right so when I spoke to Sam I asked her to send me a uh, setup with a cluster on it now reason being is that with this particular setup you can use it multiple ways all right so it'll function as a regular eight point tie down all right so I'm gonna set up one side and show you the different ways you can use it now these are really long these are 18 footers you don't have to get 18 footers um, I just get them long because sometimes I tie down toolboxes and stuff so all right so now with the eight point tie down set like this all right, you can put the mini J in the slot like this. All right, and then you come here, you create, you know, a loop. All right, and then so you create a loop like this with the dog bone, go over the tire around the back side of the tire. Okay, and I usually try and get it at like 10 and 2. I'll show you in a second. <clears throat> so. I usually do like 10 and 2 if you're looking at a clock, you know, 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, which would probably be like around here because this is more 3 o'clock. But usually 10 and 2 is what I try to go for. All right. And the strap in the back, I try to get it, you know, like back here like this. All right. So now I take it. I, I always pull it tight, give it a little bit of slack like this so that I can get enough wraps. Now. That's not tight yet, but I just want to show you something. So a lot of people say, oh, it's a lot of slack. So now you can trim them if you want. That's perfectly fine. Or you can just get your standard 14 foot kit instead of the 18 foot. Again, I use it to tie down a lot of stuff. If I'm not going to trim it down and I'm going to keep this long, then what I do is I usually come here and I just overlap it like that, fold it, come in through here. Now, again, I don't do it when it's tight because then it's hard to get through. I do it like I tighten it like snug and then I go and I just put it like this, all right? And that'll keep it like that. Then I tighten it down, all right? Um, and when using the eight point tie downs, you want, you know, 10 and two, like around this area here. Um, you know, it's okay if you go a little bit lower. Again, the back you want here, and then you tie it down, you can't get, this isn't going anywhere. If you feel it's too long, again, you can feed it through and, you know, do it like this or you can take the excess strap you know fold it and then get yourself a harbor freight clamp and just clamp it and it'll stay there you're not gonna have any issues okay so now that's how you would set it up okay and then I'm gonna so you could do that you know all around you'll have an eight point tie down set now if you don't want to do that right or let's say you have a problem where you know the tire is flat uh, if the tire is flat or you have an issue with the rim and you can't use it then what you can do is you can use the eight point tie down as you know a single tie down or four point tie down so what you would do is take the strap by itself you could either take the dog bone off or leave it on whichever one makes you happy all right and then so if you look under the car you have a t-hook slot which is right there all right and then now again these straps are super long um you know i try to keep them as short as possible but this is a brand new set so i'm most likely going to trim this set and have a 14 foot and a 18 foot and i'll show you why in a minute all right so now you can you know set up your strap like this pull it out some just want to make sure you're getting this grab my phone 
So, so you go to the T-hook slot down there. I come here, tighten it like this, and then I give a little slack so I can get enough wraps. Then, strap it down like this, all right? So now, you have a single point tied on. So again, if there's, let's say the wheel's missing, the wheel's broken, the tire's flat, you can't you know, use the eight point tie down for some reason, you can always just use it without the dog bone as a single tie down like this, okay? And then you can do that for both sides. Go there to the front, and then in the back, you would do the same thing. This side's gonna, let me go to the other side. I got the parking brake on and it's against that slot. Parking brake is on, it's against the slot and it's, it could be a little pain sometimes on that side. So again, just come around. Go right there. So you have your T-hook slot right there that you can use. And then come to the back side and strap it down wherever you want. So you could strap it here like this. You could strap it there. You could strap it here. Or you can strap it to any corner and do the X in the back to keep the car from going like this when you're bouncing around. So these are diamond weave material, which is really strong. I really, really like these. Um, I've been using it for a few years now. Try to do the video before the sun comes up, but geez, it's hot. Okay, so now that's the eight point tie down. All right, this is the material, diamond weave. Super, super, super strong. Um, what you can do too also is if you trim them down, you can cut it at an angle. So when you have to feed it through the ratchet, it'll be easier for you. Um, so now, with this particular bed, okay, as you can see, I got one chain pocket there, another one here, another one up here, and the one up here, plus you have the grab hooks up here. The problem with this truck is that I can't use two 14 foots and I can't use two 18 feet. Why? Because 18 feet is too much strap. 14 feet is not enough strap, especially on this setup. So I'll show you on this one. If you're gonna use, so I was talking to Sam from Bear Motion, and she's gonna create a specific set, um, you know, for anybody that needs to order a set. And it's gonna be a set of two 14 feet and a set of two 18 feet. So if your bed is like this one, then you can get the, uh, you can get that set that comes with an 18 feet and a 14 footer. All right, so I'll show you what I'm talking about right now when I do this setup. All right. All right, so now So here's what I'm talking about, right? So with the 14 foot and the 18 foot, again, this is two 18 feet uh, long straps. You can use it. The only thing is you'll have to fold it like this. If you don't have a problem, I normally don't have a problem doing it. So if you don't mind, you can do that or you can roll it up and put a clamp on it. Harbor Freight sells really good, strong, heavy duty clamps. Just clamp it and you're good. So if you see the bed right now, you see how this is? This is the way I have to use this. So the set that I'm gonna have made up from Bear Motion is gonna be a 14 foot, two 14 feet straps, two 18 feet straps. So 14, you see how though the front wheel lines up right in the middle of these two chain pockets, right? So that fits perfect with the 14. Now the problem with the 14 that I can't use on this bed is that I don't have another hole here and another hole there for the chain pocket, right? So I can't use it because a 14 footer would only give me clearance from that hole at the end to this hole which you can't do because you want it to be centered like this so the 18 feet in the back work perfectly fine all right so is this recording upside down or is my phone upside down my phone's up. okay i got nervous 
So again, the 18 feet, if you have a bed like mine that doesn't have you know multiple holes going down the, the sides, you can just use this setup like this. So 18 feet will work perfect. I use it all day long in the back. 14 footers in the front, okay? Um, so yeah, so that's on, on the eight point tie down um, and you would do that all around, all right? And then I'm gonna show you a different setup. I'm gonna show you a couple of different setups, all right? Um, and again, all these all these traps you can get from Bear Motion. Um, just make sure to use coupon code TOMAN127. It'll be in the description. You'll save a little bit of money. All right, so let's take these out. Um, this set I'm gonna leave on the bed because I'm gonna just give it to Austin to use or when I have to use it, it's a fresh brand new set. Um, when I leave them on the bed, because I don't take them off, I leave them on the bed. So what I do is I put it like that, straighten it out, crank it down. I feed this through here like this. Come up a little bit and then I go like that. And that's it, that's not gonna go anywhere. No matter how far you're driving down the highway, how fast you're driving down the highway, it stays like that every time. When I need it, I just take the strap out from there, take it out from here, loosen it, and do what I gotta do. All right, so let me take this out real quick. Um, so I'm gonna show you another strap setup. Take those out. Trying to do this in the shade because it is hot and the humidity is insane right now. I'm really sweating up a storm. All right, so again, eight point tie down with the cluster hook, which is great because you can use it as an eight point tie down. You can use them as four individual tie downs. All right, um, and if you're using them individually, you have, you know, your T hook, your mini J, your R hook. Um, all right, and then if, even if you got to strap something you can always just feed it through and use it like a lasso strap Make a loop out of it and then have a lasso strap uh, And you can use it that way. All right, so now We're gonna go to another set of straps, which are pretty cool. So Let me grab Did I put the other ones out? Um, over here. So here's another strap. That's pretty cool. Okay, um This strap here is a like a lasso strap but also has another purpose so i'm sure you've seen them before where they have this hook is not this hook it's a double finger hook uh do i have let me see something i should have one on this side So we'll just take this out for a second. So I'm sure you've seen this set like this, that instead of having this, it has the double hook like this one, all right? So this one's a double finger hook. As you can see, it's got two, all right? And then, so instead of that being there, this would be there, and then this would hook onto this like that through the lasso now the problem with this is let's say you have a broken rim and you can't use the um the strap like this um you can take the hook out right so with the double finger hook you're only limited to that now with this one let's say so this would the way i would tie this down is you would want to go on the side that doesn't have the caliper because it's not going to fit behind the caliper all right like a regular lasso because of the loop so the way I would do this one is come around through the rim, all right, and then put the little hook through here, okay, and then I'm gonna put that ratchet. Come through here. All 
All right, and then you can go to, you know, that pocket back there. You can go to this pocket here. And tie it down. And then you see how the hook sits in it. So it sits like that. And then you take the next one. Go through the uh, brake. Uh, through the rim around the uh in between the, the rim and the brake put it like this no, hold on a second. okay like that. now these are a little shorter than i wanted um so i want to get them a little longer i mean it works for everybody um, I just want to get a little bit longer. I'd rather have longer straps than not enough length. What's going on here? And again, it's different when you have more slots on the uh, actual bed. Okay, so now you'll have you know for this way like that again it all depends on the on the position of the vehicle um how you have it set up but you could have it like that and then you know go crisscross this way because the problem is you can't get it between the brake caliper so that's how you would use that setup um let me just grab a photo of this real quick Might as well grab photos when I'm doing this. Don't have to do it twice. So now, what I like about this set with the small mini J on it is, again, let's say there's a problem with the rim and you can't get through the rim itself because there's an issue. You can use it as a single tie down or a four point tie down. So let's say, for instance, this front wheel. There's a problem with the wheel. I can't strap it down. I can't use the strap. All right? Take the loop out. Put the strap underneath. And then set up the hook in your T-hook slot like this. Okay? And then you can come to the front here. And you can strap it down here. So now you have another purpose, right? So instead of it just being that you're looping it through the tire, now you can use it like this and, you know, hook it up to the T-hook slot and then run it under the car, come to the ratchet, tie it down. All right, so that's why I purposely asked for that one. Um, well, not purposely, but specifically asked for that one. I asked Sam to send me one with the, the mini J-hook so that I can show a better you know, use of it instead of having, again, if you got the, dub the double finger hook, chances are this hook, right, is not gonna go inside the uh, the T-hook slot, all right, like a mini J. So that's that, all right? And then let's take this out. And again, you can use it as a four point tie down as well. So you can use it to tie down each wheel individually or you can go to the frame pockets and use it that way individually. So you can have it as a four point tie down. You can have it as a single point tie down. You could use it for, uh, you know, going through the rim, which is why I really like this setup. Okay. Then we're going to go to your traditional lasso straps. So again, these are all diamond weave. I'm choosing one of each color, you know, so that you can see that they have different colors. All right, so we'll start off with the black one. Don't want to lose any rubber bands. All right, so your traditional old school method. This I used, when I first started towing, this is what I used to use on like BMWs, Audis, Mercedes, all the high-end vehicles. Um, 
So now you can strap, you can feed the strap through, um, through the rim behind the caliper. A lot of guys feed it through the front to the back, um, which is fun. It's worked that way for many years. All right, so now you take your lasso strap, you put it through the, uh, the ring like this. All right, pull it and then rotate it. Now, some people like to put the strap here on the side. I don't. Um, I feel like when you put it on the side, sometimes it pushes like it'll pull the tire, but kind of like pulling it that way versus pulling it straight forward. So I like to set it up so that it's centered like this. All right, again, I'm using my phone so I can make sure that you're getting good footage. All right, so I usually put it like that, take it, put it through the uh, ratchet. extra strap I just take it and put it in a knot like this like that um, some guys roll them up and turn them a different way let me angle this down because I'm working on the straps all right so that would be one and you would do this all around all right, so Again, I like to feed them through the back of the rim, but you can feed it through the front. I mean, you know, I was always taught to do it through the front, but some manufacturers recommend that you put it through the back, which obviously putting it through the back requires a little bit more time because you got to fight with the strap to get it through. But again, you can do it either way. Now, when putting straps through a rim, me personally, I would uh, recommend using microfiber towels. Um, that's how I've always done it when using the lasso straps. I mean, if it's a crappy rim, you don't really gotta worry too much. I just don't wanna scuff anybody's rims, especially if they're really expensive rims on some of the newer ones. Okay. All right, that's that one. Got blue, we got pink. And then always you want to be sure that you're not catching the uh, the valve from the rim. pink one I like the pink one this is cool So I'm trying to do the video without having to edit anything. Just one straight video of all the straps, how I use them, and stuff like that. So, 
on the front, if they're longer, you can just feed it through the back like this. Make a knot, you're done. All right, so now, again, all these straps are all diamond weave material, all right? Has all the information on them, you know, diamond weave, US patent, all that stuff. And they also, I think these have tags on them. It's probably on the back side. All right, let me grab some photos real quick for this too as well. So now, the sun is always always makes taking pictures horrible. So now you have a four point tie down with the lasso straps. All right, me personally, you know, if you're towing newer vehicles, I would definitely recommend, you know, putting a uh, microfiber towels through the, the rim and then putting the strap over it so that you don't scuff anyone's wheels. Last thing you want is a damage claim. Again, I've used these for years when I first started out towing um, on all the BMWs, Mercedes, Porsches, all that stuff. This has never failed, all right? And I'm doing this now 23 years and I've never had an issue using straps like this as a four point tie down, okay? So um, again, these come in you know different colors. So, you know, you obviously saw the pink, the blue, the green, the black, they come in red, they come in like a high vise green. They come in a whole assortment of uh, colors, um, you know, which is cool because everybody likes colors, right? Uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, you can use all pink. Uh, so that covers the regular lasso straps. That covers this strap with the loop and the mini J. All right, um, let's see what else can we cover. So yeah, thank you, Sam. She sent me a bunch of stuff, man. Really cool person. Um, love doing business with her. She does, you know, fast shipping, great on communication, and all that other stuff. Um, so some of the stuff is gonna be done with the wrecker, um, the other straps, like the axle straps and stuff like that. So um, yeah, the rest of these I'll show you, you know, on the wrecker. Like these straps here, you have, you know, the loop at the end for the T-hook slot, which I'll show you again uh, on the wrecker. Let's see, so I'll grab this one, an orange one, a purple one, axle straps, okay. So now you have other straps as well. So with this strap here, you have a single strap, again, diamond weave material with a mini j on it okay so now if you get four of these all right so you, you, let me show you the other one too i'll just pull them both out there you go yeah so the straps have tags on them they tell you the work of the limits 3333 pounds so here's two different straps let's get rid of that here are two different straps, all right? You have your Mini J and you have your Mini J with the T-hook, all right? Forge J, Mini J, whatever you want to call it. So you have both of these that are work for uh, a, you know, a bunch of different things. So let's say you have to do a four point tie down, all right? You can use, you know, some guys just want minimal hooks. They don't want a whole bunch of clusters or any of that other stuff. So Mini J, put it in the T-hook slot again. All right, your T-hook slot there. Put it through a ratchet, like I showed you before with the other one. And then you strap it down here. So now, that's your one with the Mini J. All right, just gonna grab some photos for Sam. Okay, so 
that's the mini J all right and then you have the mini J with the forged I mean the forged mini J with the t-hook okay, so now you can use the next one all right so this one is mini J in the t-hook slot all right let's take that off so you can see this so here's the mini J that you can use to go to the front or you can use the t-hook slot like that okay and just go to the front and strap it down the same way all around when I when I hook up cars and I'm using the bottom slot I personally don't like using the t-hook slot you can definitely use it I prefer to use t-hook slots more on like if it's up here on the sidewall then I use that um, you know because sometimes if it's too much on an angle the t-hook slot can fall out you know so if you got a good um, like it's not too much of like a kind of like a side angle then it's fine because the t-hook's not gonna pop out but t-hooks i usually like to use them on like uh chevy suburban uh chevy tahoe suburban yukons all those like trucks that have the uh, t-hook slot that's sideways on the side frame all right you can strap it down go like that and you're set all right so you got the t-hook in okay set up going to the front coming here to the ratchet and that's it so these straps are great because again you could use them you know for a full point tie down you can use them for multiple things um i will i will find the picture well i'll find the video that i did not so long ago um and i will show i'll take a screenshot and i'll show you the um the way that i did those i forgot to take these pictures let me take these pictures real quick um i'll show you the screenshot of a van that i did that the bull joint broke um chances are you probably you probably saw it already. but i'll put a screenshot of how i use straps like this um for that situation so that car the van had the wheel fall off um the control arm broke how to take the wheel off how to put it on a uh, control arm skate and you know i had to tie the wheel down so i don't lose the wheel i had to tie the vehicle down so the vehicle doesn't you know bounce around or whatnot so i use the strap this way from that side with the uh mini j to tie the wheel down and then two other ones going from this side to this side so that i can um keep the van from bouncing around all right let me just grab the photo of this That one's dirty. All right. So with that being said, um, so that's th that's pretty much it with these straps. So you saw the uh, eight point tie down with the clusters, which again are great because you can use them as a four point tie down. You could use them as an eight point tie down. Um, if you move toolboxes. Again, which is why I have the 18 footers, you can tie down the toolbox. So that's why I like the 18 footers because sometimes I get long toolboxes and you can tie down the toolboxes when you put the straps over them. Um, and it works out great. You know, sometimes I'll get like, you know, a frame machine or I'll get like a crate with something that I got to tie down and I could use the eight point tie down with the clusters because it has an assortment of clusters on them and they're long. So, you know, you got a bunch of different um, uses out of it, you know, that you can do. Uh, all right, let me take this out. I'll float my car because Austin's here and he's got to take the flatbed. Um, and then from here, I'm going to move to the wrecker and then I'll show you different strap setups on the wrecker. So I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, guys. Uh, so here's the second part of that video. I'm gonna go over a couple of things here. So first is gonna be straps. Um, so.
So you have this strap here, which has a D-ring on it and a hook on it, all right? Also comes with a protective sleeve. So I'm not gonna use a protective sleeve because I don't have the wheel lift where I really need that part. Um, but let's say you have, you know, some of the, um, some of like the self-loaders, let's say, they have a loop on the end of it, like over here on the, on the, the sleeve part. Well, it's not a sleeve because it don't come in and out, but on the self-loader, let's say, Sometimes they have a loop here where this hooks into and you hook it with the hook like let's say you know It's in there boom done. All right, and then you come over the wheel like this and you strap it to You know that end of the claw where it would have a hole when the claw comes out um, And then you would use that sleeve like that. So it would go over that way then um, So here the way I normally would use it on this um, again, I'm going to take the sleeve off because, um, well, you know, let me see if it fits with the sleeve. It does have a protective sleeve, so you would use this, you know, like a regular lasso strap. Come through the ring, create your loop. Um, now you have your loop for a tie down. Well, yeah, I guess I could use it on this one. Um, so, you know, go behind the tire. All right, and then, you know, you got your loop. And... Uh, if you have the scoops like this, you don't have to drill a hole in it. All right, this one has a hole in it, but you don't have to drill a hole because the bottom of the L arm can't see it, but there's already holes. Ah, really? Anyway, yeah, see the holes? So it has holes on the bottom of it. So the way I use it is I put it like that through there, through the D ring. Okay, and then I go to the bottom hole like that. All right, so you really want to get it like centered. All right, I give it a little bit of space, and then I write it down. You could always move the hook out of the way, and then you know the extra slack you can just put it through like this or feed it through the ratchet so that's how you can use it one way right and then I'm gonna show you another way that you can use it so I'm pretty sure many of you that have been in the industry for a long time um, even some new guys you get a car that was in an accident and now the top of the tire the top of the tire is pushed in and it's hitting the strut all right so now you can't get a strap around it all right because the tire is hitting and the strap is basically you know you can't get it behind the tire to do a lasso strap um because the top of the tire is hitting the strut so you can't get it around it so in that case this is where this hook comes in handy i've done this plenty of times so if you look here, you'll see there's a spring, all right? Open up the clip, put the lasso strap like that with the hook. Just make sure you can see that in there. Probably not. So you can always go into the strut and hook up to the spring, all right? So you see it up there. See how it's hooked on that? All right, so you can Hook that like that, and I take off the uh, the sleeve, the protective sleeve, because I won't um, I won't have enough room to use it that way, and it'll get caught in the ratchet. So now, all right, put it like that. Go into the hole in the bottom. If you have a regular L arm, then you can use you know the regular hole like here, uh, like that. So, hole in the bottom. Now the strap's gonna be a little long, so <clears throat> you can fold the strap and you can tuck it between the tire and the strap. Go like that. And then you can do it like that. 
Now again, I've done it plenty of times like that over the years and it's never been an issue. The car stays right there. Doesn't give you any problems. And of course the uh, sun is gonna mess up this part of the video where I'm trying to take a photo. Okay, so again, you know, sometimes you'll get a car where it's hit, the tire will be touching the strut, which won't allow you to put the strap behind it. So in that case, again, you can go right to the spring on the strut, come right over here, strap it down, and that's a done deal. All right, so that's what I like about this particular strap, that you can use it two ways. All right, and then, you know, just push the clip open, take it out, done. All right, and then we have your, you know, other lasso straps. regular lasso strap your standard one then again you go around the tire come on connect so then again you would just do your uh, regular setup with the lasso All right. and then you know you can either put the strap through this in here, slide it down, and you're set, you know. Right, let me grab another photo for this. Okay. And then you have um, the axle straps. I'll show you that in a second. So all these straps are diamond weave material. Really, really good, durable material. I love the diamond weave. I switched to them ever since they came out. Uh, of course, quite broke. So these do have, you know, the assembled in USA. Um, and then it has a working low limit. This one is 3,333. And the snap hook with the D-ring is rated at 2,000 pounds. Um, I'm not sure why this one's rated for less. Um, same materials, all right. And then we have the axle straps. So let me grab a glove real quick. So I'm dirty my hands. All right, so axle straps, right? So for your safety chains, when you're loaded up with a vehicle, all right, I always use safety chains. I don't care if I'm going three blocks away all right I always use safety chain now you can have your safety chain a lot of people use just safety chains around the control arm me I don't like to do that because you know sometimes if the chain scratch or something they'll complain to you saying that you did that whatever so let me sit down real quick so this is a diamond weave axle strap. All right, uh, trying to get it in the video. You go over the control arm, it's got the protective sleeve on it. And then come down here, put your grab hook, and you're pretty much done. All right, so control arm, it's got the protective sleeve on it. Go right over the uh, control arm, come to the loop like that, safety chain, and that's it you know you secure the car put your chains however you like and uh you know i prefer to use straps one it gives you you know a few inches extra length on your safety straps to the back of the truck and um you know i, I prefer to use the uh axle straps because one again it gives you the extra length two you're not using a chain on anyone's control arm. You know how everybody is. Right away, they want to complain about you using 
chains on control arms and all that crap. And these have a workload limit of 3,333 pounds. And, um, you know, again, diamond weave material, protective sleeve, the two rings. And that's it, man. You just put it over the control arm and snap it quick. And it's good to go. All right. So instead of having to, instead of having to take a chain and you know looping it through and then trying to get it through like that and all that crap you set up your axle strap once it's around the control arm you put your hook you're done that's it one two three all right these are very strong they're great again you don't scratch the uh, control arms or anything like that and uh they're worth every penny so you know you can get all these things in a different assortment of colors um she has uh, all this stuff linked on bear motion i'll put some links in the description i am replacing the straps from the wrecker they used to be the uh purple ones with just the d-ring on it so now it's gonna have the red ones with the d-ring and the um snap hook on it so here's another strap all right this one has the um the oval ring on it and this one you would use on certain wheel lifts that have um they would have a t-hook kind of set up on it so some of the trucks when you let's see like i think it's i think it's a century but i had it on the other truck when i worked at Breen bros um so basically this part here would have like that t-hook set up all right so you would use a strap like this that will go over, like it'll go through it like this, all right? And then come this way, go over the tire. It would go over the tire like this. I'm gonna try to position that like that just so it can sit. Um, so you would go over the tire and tie off on the L-arm. All right, so I, I don't have any of those wheel lifts available. But basically, that's what it would be like. All right. So you can also get those at Bear Motion Diamond Weave Material. And these are 3,333 pounds of the working load limit. All right. So that's what it would be like. Um, I'm sure you've seen them on some of the uh, some of the Miller beds or whatever, the Sentry beds. Um, but there's a lot of wheel lifts that have it like that. So you can use it like that. Uh, some wheel lifts have like the grab hooks so you can put it in a grab hook come around the back and strap it over the wheel like this so you know it'll go like that and then come over the top and then come back down and strap it I don't have that wheel lift so I can't show you but it would basically you know look like that all right uh, and I think that's all the straps that I have at the moment. And again, these are all diamond weave material, really good quality. Um, if you've never used diamond weave, I promise you that when you do use it, you will love it and you won't want to use anything else. All right, they're super thick, super tough, durable. They don't cut as easy as like some regular straps. Um, I've had straps in the past where they get worn out fast and they either get like burn marks here from rubbing on the d-ring or they uh, get snagged on something they'll cut easily and then once they start cutting they'll just um they'll break so that is the end of this video again i will put the links to some of the stuff in uh whatever links i find for each item i'll put it in the uh, description of the video so that you guys can purchase it and don't forget to use uh, coupon code, you know, Toman127. He'll save a little money on it. And if you've never ordered from Bear Motion, I highly, highly recommend Bear Motion. All right. Um, they're great on communication. They are fast on shipping. Never have an issue with them. And any products that you don't see, you can reach out to them and ask if they have. And, you know, she'll get you whatever you need, man. But again, super fast shipping, great on the communication. And me personally, I enjoy doing business with them. Um, you know, not because they send me products for free, but I've purchased, I think, I don't know if it was my first set of eight point tie downs, 
Um, but I met Sam at the Baltimore Toll Show and I purchased a few products from her. Um, so with that being said, that will conclude today's video. I uh, just want to say thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell. Um, you'll get notified every time I upload a video. All right, and uh, share the video. See you later.